All right, I want to show you another example of how I use SEM Rush when I'm setting up a store. So you can see here they've imported the product name uh, expression braid now sensational. Um, so this is early stages, right? We're just figuring out how to import it. But if I run the name of the product through SEM Rush, you can see here that it tells me sensational instant pony drawstring perm yaki 30. So the 30, this tells me that the 31 is more popular and sorry this is the sensational this is the other one there I, I ran two of the products through um so you can see here the the sensational expression braid um if we add prelude synthetic crochet braid which i'm betting is in the description this is all false um but uh I'm, you know, it, it essentially tells you what people are searching for, where there is getting some search volume. Uh, and to me, also an indicator of what's popular, right? Like if somebody's looking, you can see the top two searches here are for 30 inch ones. And for example, when I went on to uh, his catalog here, where is it? Uh, yeah. Yaki, I think it was this 12 inch empire. Again, um, that was a pony draw. Anyway, sorry, I don't want to get lost in the in the details here, but uh, pony tails, pony tails. Wow, this is going to be a uh, a big catalog to work with. Sorry, I'm getting lost in the in the weeds here. But uh, basically, what I was trying to say is, it's a good idea to run the product name through SEM Rush and then figure out if uh, you know if you need to rearrange the order. Typically, like with this, Nutras goes first. So yeah, this it has nothing, but it suggests Lutras 2x curly 3b, which really is just almost logical, right? So if I resort that, take away the brackets. <clears throat> then this is something that actually does pick up search, right? So just by knowing how the search order of how people are searching, you can customize your product name a little bit better. And then that also shows up in the product URL typically on a good system and in the name of the page, the page title as well. All of these factors affect your search ranking. Uh, and so <clears throat> it's, really really important uh to to really keep referencing especially in the setup phase of uh of a new website uh use a tool like uh sem rush to to figure out um how to structure because those long tail things matter right like if that's an extra 10 visits to your site every month and you do that on 100 products you know that's a thousand Right, <laughs> the thousand uh, visitors uh, that are looking for a very specific product, mind you. That's the best part about them is that you're providing them with with the solution to what they were looking for. Uh, so with this kind of direct e-commerce, there's nothing better than that. Uh, anyway, if you need any help with SEM Rush, uh, as always, please don't hesitate to reach out. Hit the subscribe button, and uh, somewhere in the link below, I've got a link. I think it saves us both some money or something like that. It's my affiliate link. I will get some sort of a tip out of it, but uh, there's tons of stuff that you can do for free with SEM Rush, and uh, it's just think of it as a way to give me a digital tip. Go try out SEM Rush for yourself. And again, please subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, hit me with comments if you have any specific things you want answered about a Shopify uh, site and how to do how to use SEM Rush with your Shopify site. All right.